Rose and I have just been to see uh, the Idiot Bastard Band. What do you think, Rose? Oh, uh, absolutely amazing. Because, you know, we saw Phil Jupiter's set, set list. Yeah, yeah. And he was absolutely incredible and completely unhinged. Aid Edmondson, who obviously, obviously everyone knows from having been in The Young Ones, you've got two really, really, really unhinged comics. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and... Um, I suppose what I thought was that those two being so unhinged, they were counted really well by Neil um, and Roland because when they started off, Neil and Roland seemed to be quite kind of like calming influence, didn't they? But then as, it, as the set wore on, it became quite apparent that Roland is actually completely nutty, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, sort of the, the set sort of went like almost like a a hybrid between a comedy skit uh, and um, a sort of gig by band but so they, they were linking linking the the songs up with little intervals of like the comedy between them all and all of them obviously know what they're doing in sort of both fields it sort of brings brings the whole it's it's a whole show not just yeah. like a gig as a band they they do comedy stuff as well and they're linking ev- they're linking all the comedy stuff even through all the songs all the songs they're not it's not just straight comedy a comedy band they they do everything and they're good musicians as well aren't yeah. they i mean they're all switching around singing and stuff like that <gasps> do you know what when we arrived i tried to count how many stringed instruments there were on stage and i got to 14 <laughs> Yeah. That's pretty impressive. I know. And then what was that orange thing that Phil Jupiter's had sticking in his mouth? Some sort of kazoo. I was it? Know. Was it? I don't know. All, all sorts of random, random crap. It's, um, it reminded me a little bit of uh, uh, Bare Naked Ladies. Oh, yeah. Because they sort of, they had the same sort of thing where they would switch around instruments all the yeah. time and they'd be just messing around on stage and these guys are way funnier obviously Very because they're comedians fun, yeah. uh, um, but it's it, as far as the audience is concerned it's all like it's a good time it's not it's, it's not like just comedy or intense everything it's just take it as you see it and do whatever you want and you're bound to have a good time just as long as you don't what, um, what, what was your highlight because I know quickly instantly what my highlight was uh, they did a blues uh, song. Yeah, that was your highlight. Yeah. Wasn't it? What What did you like about that? I don't know. The guitar. They They were, they were playing like a good song, and the the lyrics were all funny. It's just the way they they phrased the song, breaking up the blues and stuff like that. It was great. Uh, my highlight was was the car crash song because of <laughs> Roland's absolutely incredible impersonations yes. of a car <laughs> So crash. good. He, what he was doing, what Roland was doing from the drums was he was um, making a car crash noise and it was exactly like a car crash and I've been in a couple so I know and it, it was he was doing all variations on a car crash so a car crash with a little thud, a car crash with a skid and a z- zip through the air and then a landing and then at the end of it he'd make little comments about you know so you'd get the conversation between the people in the car like <laughs> alright darling kind of thing, well yeah. not that obviously I thought that was amazing and um the other, one of the other things that really stood out for me, although it was a small thing, was when Aid Edmondson put the blue wig on. Yeah. There yeah, was they something did, um, about that, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, they were doing some, um, they did some covers of some other guys, like various comedy singers and stuff like that, and they did the cover of, uh, I, that's so bad, I've forgotten. The Coldplay song? No, no, oh. no, they did, uh, the, the, the one with the blue wig, but I've forgotten. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, they, I can't remember. The slipped my down, mind. Yeah. Oh, Flight the Concords, that's it. Yeah. yeah. And um, they did a cover of that, and that was really good as well. Yeah. The other thing that I was contemplating at times during the set, actually, which I found quite interesting, was that I also felt that there was some quite... There was quite a personal investment on their part, because I felt, maybe wrongly, I don't know, that some of their songs were really personal. You know, like um, the song... I think it was Roland's song about... Um, how much he loved his wife. Yeah. Yeah, it was really yeah. touching, wasn't it? Yeah, and funny. Yes, exactly, <laughs> and funny. And it's as if they Did you feel that, that they had some personal elements that they were drawing on? Yeah, just like they would if they were doing, like, if they were doing just normal comedy. They, they sort of involved their life in a humorous way, I think. Yeah. 
it really added to the performance. It made it quite deep. Yeah. Into it. Deep and funny. Yeah. Deep and funny and highly musical. That's a good quote. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're done. Yeah. Yeah, okay.